What's up, music nerds? My name is Lewis with Synth Alchemy. And today, I'm going to show you how to use Suno, MusicFi, and Udio to create studio quality vocal stems that you can use in your own music. <laughs> The next major holiday is Labor Day, which is why I've decided to go with a union song called The Rebel Girl, which I found on this website, wikisource.org. Among other things, they have public domain lyrics. This song was copyrighted in 1916, but the copyright is timed out. It's no longer valid. So anyone can use this song without fear of any copyright strikes. The lyrics here, though, did have some typos and some other errors. So I brought it into Notepad, fixed it up, and then I added verse chorus tags as well as a bridge tag with some oh yeahs there just to fill in the space so it's not too short. And I brought this into Suno, where here it is here. And then I have selected version 3.5. The style of music is American folk, country Union song, protest song, proto-punk, Americana, female singer, Irish accent. The name of the song, the title is Rebel Girl. We're going to go ahead and listen to a few of these until we find one that I like. And then I'm going to take that and bring it into music via begin the process of creating a vocal stem out of it, a high quality stem. But for now, we're going to go through until we find one that we like. There are women descriptions in this queer world as everyone knows some are living in beautiful mansions and are wearing the finest of clothes there are descriptions in this queer world as everyone knows some are living in beautiful mansions and are wearing the finest of clothes there are blue blooded queens and princesses who have charms made of diamonds and pearls but the lady is the rebel girl that's the rebel girl that's the rebel girl to the working class she's a precious pearl she brings courage pride and joy to the fighting rebel boy we've had girls before but we need some more in the industrial workers of the world for its great fight for freedom with a rebel girl Yes, her hands may harden from labor And her dress may not All right, I think I'm going to stick with this one here. Let's go, man. I know Suno has a new stem separation feature. Report, share, get, oh, get stems. Okay, let's get some stems. See how this sounds. So we only get vocal and instrumental. But Udio, you get up to four stems. All right. So since I have it right here, let's go ahead. We're going to do a stem splitter. We really only want the vocals. Well, one thing I have to say is that for sure, Suno's stem splitter takes a lot longer than Udio's stem splitter, which is interesting considering that Suno can generate a song much quicker than Udio can. Come on. Here we go. Okay. So here I have this was the stem that was split by Suno. 
Here is the stem that was split by Musicfy. Let's go ahead and take a listen. Suno first. Yeah. We're going to A, B these. Uh, so I'll be able to switch between them while it's playing. It'll help us understand the, the quality difference. There are women of many descriptions. Music In this queer world, as everyone knows, Suno. some are living in beautiful mansions yep. and are wearing music the finest of clothes. And keeping on music fire here. There are blue blooded queens Suno. and princesses who have charms made of diamonds and pearls. Okay, obviously. Music Fi sounds a lot better than the Suno Stim Splitter. And now I actually did do a test between Music Fi and Udio. That video will be coming out shortly. But in that video, at least in the circumstance that I used it in, Udio's Stim Splitter was better than Music Fi's, which shocked me. It was only a little bit better. But Music Fi's is really, really good. So I was really surprised. So it same must be true that. UDO stem splitter is better than Suno's. And it also can split into four different stems rather than just two, like the way Suno works. All right, so we're gonna stick with the MusicFi stem here, which is right here. Now, I'm gonna do two separate things here because from my experience, it is better to convert the voice to another singer that will up res it. You select the remove instrumentals and reverb and echo here. And it's really going to give you a lot cleaner of a sample to work with. But I also want to use, because I do like the voice of that singer, I want to see if I can generate a higher quality version right off of that using Udio, using the new remix feature, which I'll show you in just a minute. Let's start by dragging this back into MusicFi in the Convert Voice tab. It's uploading the, the WAV file right here. And I'm going to go ahead and select, probably going to go with Elena here, but let's go ahead and select Billie Eilish, Lana Del Rey, I guess let's just, let's do Adele. Let's also get ready to do this in MusicFi. First, we can take this here, bring it over. Did I say MusicFi? I meant Udio. Upload file, downloads. Yep. Oh, uh, you know, the crappy thing I forgot. So, something I'll let you do a minute and 30 seconds, which is two minutes and 10 seconds. So I have to... I'm going to take this part right here. Export MP3 file. Part two. All right. So now we have our part two. And unfortunately, when you're working with Udio, if it's longer than two minutes and 10 seconds, you're going to have to do this. And it's annoying. They'll, they'll, they'll resolve that in the future for sure. But for now, this is how it has to be done. We're going to go to Remix. And this is a new feature in Udio that is just blowing my mind all day long. But as you see, this is the variant setting. So you can do similar or different. If it's similar, it's more similar to, to the sample that you uploaded. If it's more different, then it, the AI is more creative and it'll, it'll make a lot more creative decisions. And it will sound in the same key generally and it will generally have the same timbre, but it could, it could be a lot different. One important note to make here, I'm going to switch from the 32 second generator to the 210. Now, if I delete this this track and I upload a new one, for some reason right now there's a glitch where the remix settings will not allow you to, to adjust it. And that's a huge problem because it automatically sets it to the different side of the scale over here, which is usually not what you want. The way I use it, usually you want something closer to similar. So here, lyrics. Now, that this is important too. When you're using Udio to up res lyrics, you have to put the lyrics in here. And this is really a part of the magic because when you do a stem split or even when you do voice conversion, you end up losing some parts of the words and the lyrics. And in some of my past videos, you probably heard that, but this will literally fix it. I wish that MusicFi had this in their voice conversion because it would do the same thing. But if you have words that are missing because it's looking at the lyrics and it can hear the words that aren't missing, it can fill in the blanks. And you can actually do this with uh, UDO's end painting feature, but this is a lot easier just to do an up res for the whole track. Just a lot easier in my opinion. So let's take the lyrics here, come back. All right, another important thing, 
We want the generation quality to be as high as possible. I'm going to leave these at 50%, but with the clarity, the higher you go, the clearer it gets and the flatter it gets. But if you wanted to have some character, if you wanted to sound studio quality and you know, I would go around more between this range, 70 and 80, somewhere in here. You won't have to do as much post-processing that way. Now, it, it's a bigger problem if you're doing a full song with percussion and bass and, and other elements, because the lower you go, the more it's going to blend all that together. The higher you go, the more it's going to make it easier to separate those stems later. But this already is a stem, so we're not worried about that. We don't have to worry about instruments bleeding together. So here, I think we are set manual mode. Then I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit remix here. Then I'm gonna do adjust the variance. Let me come up here, get something a little more, a little more variant here. Go back down to here, here. And I'm gonna come down to doing that's actually just right, basically like the first one with minimal variation. Error generating track. They're not copyrighted. Wow, seriously. Is, it, is this one going to work for some reason? Nope. Not. Wow, way to go, Yudio. These lyrics are not copyrighted. These lyrics are public domain. Anyone can use them. They were copyrighted over 100 years ago, which means they can't be copyrighted today. Fucking idiots. Oh, that's pretty much killed that. Now I'm, gonna, I'm just going to have to use one of my songs just to show you, just to save time. This is fucking garbage. You're pissing me off, Udio. Shit. Okay, so here's a project of mine. It's like electronic mosh music. As I mentioned earlier, when you're doing a conversion in MusicFi, sometimes you'll miss parts of the lyrics or it'll get, it just loses some of the, some of the, the content, I guess. And I'll show you what I mean. Now you can really, especially when it's with the music, it doesn't sound like there's an issue, but when you isolate it, like I'm doing now, you'll be able to hear the problem. I see you just to watch challenges in the night Just in a blast tonight You sound awake cast in the shadow of my light Like oh See here, there's some consonants that aren't pronounced right And it'll, every now and then there'll be like a, uh, like a little sound So this is something that, that music, that, that Udio can fix, so what I want to do, first of all, is take the reverb off. In the Actually, I don't think I can take the reverb off. It looks like it's a part of the, the stem. I must have uh, consolidated it at some point. I see you dancing with scoundrels in the night. Dancing a blessed tonight. Yeah, that's fine, though. Okay, so let's go ahead and bounce this out export uh, mp3 file. So when you're doing this with, with Udio, it can't accept very large files. I suggest using mp3s in almost every situation, unless it's just a really short clip. Um, vocal. Okay, let's start that. It really pisses me off that Udio won't let you use public domain lyrics. Public domain is meant for everyone. It's kind of like open source. You know, it, there's no one owns it. It's 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 done its time in the market, and it's it's available for any of us to use. So I uh, I'm quite offended that Udio would flag a song for for having public domain lyrics. Although I need to fix the lyrics of this song anyways, so this is a good time to get that done. I guess still fucking lame. Okay, all right. Let's go over to Udio. The The new metal, metal core, or um, oh shit, don't no, to do this. Okay, man, vocal. All right. So here we're going to do another. I uploaded the uh, the main vocal sample from that song. We're going to do new metal, uh, metal core, pop. Um, be a quality recording. Top line. Um, 
Fuck off, tell her. Uh... Yeah, it should be good. All right. Uh, manual mode. We got a 130 here. Let's go to custom lyrics. Any lyrics in here? Oh, I have that one. So, we we'll do high quality. Can't really do 75% is generally where I like to be. Um, we'll start here. I see you dancing but with scoundrels in the night, cusing up what's left and right. Your silhouette casting a shadow in my mind. My only crime is giving you my heart. Sounds I see much better. you dancing with scoundrels in the night, using up what's left and right. Your silhouette casting a shadow in my mind. My only crime is giving you my heart. I'm like I see you soon. dancing with scoundrels in the night. Heart. You All right. So you got one, two, three, four here. So this one. Download stem. So now I'm downloading the stems. If you press download all. I'll download them in a zip file, but I only need the vocal stem. And I'm hoping that some of the artifacts end up on the other stem so that the vocals are cleaner than what I'm hearing right now. Okay, so we're going to AB the original with some of these and see how they sound. I see you dancing with scoundrels in the night Using the parts left and right You'll say I see you dancing with scoundrels in the night Using the parts left and right I see you dancing with scoundrels in the night Use so the original vocals that I had, they were a little hot, the, the sample that I generated. Some of these are a bit clearer, this one. Doesn't, this one doesn't sound clipped, but some of these other ones do. Okay, so I think this one sounds the best. You're so wet, casting a shadow in my mind. My only crime is giving you my heart. It's enough. I see you dancing with scoundrels in the night. You see us in the night. So this video started out with me using Suno to generate a song. Then I was going to use Music Fi to extract the vocals, which I did up until I got to the to UDO, which were into the copyright issues, which is bullshit. But the same steps apply. Sorry, the video took a detour.
I'm really pissed about it. I'm blaming Udio. I mean, they still are the only ones with the tools that they have available. So it's not like I can just be like, fuck Udio. Still have to use them, but I'm fucking pissed. That's stupid shit. But anyways, I hope you got something out of this video. I hope it was helpful. And I look forward to uh, releasing a new video for you soon.